What is SPF? SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. This basically lists the IP addresses and the includes that are authorized to send emails on your behalf. Although this is valid as it is, it is not without its gaps. One main limitation is that as per the RFC standard, that there is a DNS lookup count of 10. If you exceed this lookup count, you actually get something called an SPF per mayor. This means that your emails won't get delivered as you expect. So how would you get this number right here all the way down? There are multiple solutions on the market, including SPF flattening. This technique, although works, is also not without its risks, especially for larger organizations. For larger organizations, you would have many different includes, and this means that you have a chance of exceeding the 512 octet limit. This results in a similar scenario where you exceed the lookup count and then therefore experience this SPF per mirror. So how is hosted SPF different? At hosted SPF, we use something called SPF macros. This is a service hosted on uh, Amazon Route 53. And we can see here that it uses macro keys as identified through the RFC that actually dynamically update every single time you send out an email, taking the correct IP address for the sending source. This means that your DNS lookup will be reduced drastically in a safe and robust manner. One thing I would also like to note here is that we have a service through hosted SPF can detect what include statements you are using. This is then stored and propagated to the hosted SPF record. So this means that any changes or any updates from this record here on our hosted service will automatically be reflected in our hosted SPF. When we start using hosted SPF, you simply have to enable the setup, change the record on your DNS to match the one here, and then simply wait for the DNS record change to propagate, and you are now using hosted SPF. So let's go through that together. Now that you have toggled the uh, enablement here, the setup status has now been enabled, and we can go ahead and publish the record on the DNS. You might have also noticed that we now can see that there are errors detected on your current existing SPF record. Hosted SPF has the ability to diagnose your existing record to see if there are any issues or errors with the syntax or any null lookups as well. And they can actually be resolved through Hosted SPF, which I'll go through more when I go through the diagnostics tab towards the end of the guide. Let's go ahead and publish this record. Simply copy the Hosted SPF record here and publish it on your DNS. Let's go ahead and do that now. So now on the DNS, all I would have to do is actually select my existing record fully, remove it all, and paste in the hosted SPF record. Once I verify this is posted correctly, I can save this record. And now all I have to do is simply wait for the changes to propagate through the DNS before heading back to my portal. So let's take a look at how that looks now. So after waiting a couple of minutes, I can now see that the DNS status is active. My record is now using the hosted SPF record and I am now utilizing hosted SPF fully. Let's say down the line, you want to add in a new record or a new IP address into your SPF record. As mentioned, you no need to go back to your DNS in whatsoever. You can simply just search for whatever service you want to add in here and add that in. So for example, let's take Barracuda. I want to add Barracuda as a service to be a valid sending source for my domain. I simply have to search for it using the search bar, click on it here, and you can see it has been added to the list of mechanisms. To make sure that this change has gone through, kindly just save the SPF record and you will be good over there. So let's say down the line, you want to actually remove a source as well. So I realize that I don't use Google as much as I should have. So I don't want to use it as a sending source. I simply have to remove it from the saved uh, records here by clicking the toggle here and save the record again. This means that now all the changes have now been made through the service here to the hosted SPF record. No need to go back to your DNS whatsoever. As I mentioned, we also have the analytics and diagnostics tab. So first, let's talk about the analytics tab. Analytics gives me the visibility to see what sending sources are actually currently in use. So using this page, I can see clearly that I have nine SPF mechanisms in use, only one email sending IP, and a total volume of three emails sent in this date range. So I can clearly see from this tab here that I'm only currently using Zoho as my sending source. 
The rest of these sources are currently not being in use. I can even change the range for the dates that we have. So I can do, for example, the last three months. As you can clearly see, there are no been extra emails sent in the last three months using this sending server. So this can give you the ability and visibility to decide if you should remove or keep an SPF record based on its usability. However, I would like to note here that this data is only visible for the date range that you have set. You might have some email sending sources that are valid, but you use less frequently. Uh, that simply may not show up in the date range that you have shown up. So kindly just check uh, internally before removing any existing SPF record. Let's move on to diagnostics. Last and not least is the diagnostics. So as I mentioned before, here in management, I can see that there were some errors detected. So heading over to the diagnostics tab, I can see what these errors are. Hosted SPF can actually take a look and diagnose your SPF record. So for example, I can see that there is a null lookup on this include mechanism. The fix tab actually lets me know if hosted SPF was able to fix this issue. So in this current case, hosted SPF is not fixing this issue. So what can you do? You can actually take a look at the actions here. Once you do, you can see all the recommendations that you need to fix this issue. As I mentioned, it can actually hosted SPF can actually fix your SPF record for you. So in this case, we found that there was a duplicate mechanism. Hosted SPF has noticed this and fixed the record and even tells you when this record was resolved. So that's everything I wanted to cover for hosted SPF. I hope you have a good implementation. Thank you.